Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about hating programming and changing your mind. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I hate programming. How do I start liking it? Well, I I'm going to ask you what I asked my friends when I was a teenager, when they tried to make me start drinking beer. And I said, guys, why would you want to force me to drink something I think tastes like shit that is bad for me? And they couldn't really answer. But I, 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 one guy said, oh, because it's a cool adult thing. And I kind of went, yeah, but it's bad for me and I don't like it. I'm pretty sure I can do other other adult things that are better for me. Right? So... I will ask you the same question. If you don't like to program, why do you want to learn? It's like not like I mean there's so many other things you could be doing. I just don't get it. It's like, oh, I don't like smoking. I better smoke until I like it. Why? Cuz the thing is, guys, if you don't like to program but for some reason you want to start liking it, Mike, I'm, I'm just gonna, this is me completely guessing what's going on here. Then I am assuming here is that you believe that software development and programming and all of this good stuff is somehow your most feasible option to make a living or it's something that has a coolness factor maybe or something like you, you it's clear to me that you're not getting into programming for the right reasons if you ask me now I'm not gonna say too much about the right reasons here but I believe that if you want to be happy as a programmer it's it's kind of important it's kind of important that you enjoy something about it if you really hate it like and I don't think anybody regardless of where you work should work with to do, do something I doing something that feels meaningless to you or feels hard or feels like boring or unfulfilling it's going to be soul crushing even if i love programming and you don't i would never force i would never suggest to you that you get into programming because there's a lot of like a lot of heavy thinking there's long hours of focus and concentration and unless you like these sorts of things it's going to be horrible for you and you're not going to perform all that well so unless you're in that unfortunate situation that quite a lot of people on this planet is where you don't really have a choice and you do actually need the job I would say don't do this don't do this to yourself try to find something that you at the very least don't hate and make your living that way because sure there is there are a lot of jobs and secure and a fair bit of job security as a software developer but you do need to to get past the initial hump you need to invest quite a bit uh, up front and once you have invested and you actually get some experience then all of these benefits come but to get to that point you do actually need to work and sometimes you need to actually put yourself a little bit out there and might uh, you might actually struggle a little bit but once you're in uh, if you do really decide that well I've already invested this and I kind of went and became like unfulfilled by this work and I want to change my attitude towards it well if that is your scenario and you at one point started programming and you know that if you just stay here you're gonna be fine and you really want to make sure you really want to stay I would suggest that you need to ask yourself what is it that you find fulfilling about programming because fundamentally it's about creation and expressing expressing yourself and innovation all of this stuff that is what programming is if you are the kid who like uh, take an example if you are the sort of uh, person who plays uh, i don't know sh shoot shoot uh, shooters sh shooter uh, computer games and all you really want to do is to get that you know, adrenaline th adrenaline from like killing a lot of people and like uh, playing death matches yeah then uh, that's probably not the sort of that's not the mindset that is fit, that fits programming all that well. On the other hand, if you really do love the process of creation and you're into like games uh, that where you build something, where you create a ca you build something up, you have a sensation of pro of progress where you get to express yourself, and it's not just about 
adrenaline or something like that, then programming is probably a very good thing for you because that is fundamentally what it is about. It's all about creating something making something meaningful that produces some some type of value solving problems figuring out okay how can i make this work so that it has, so that some higher goal is fulfilled and that process of creation everybody okay, every, i think that every human at so, uh, on different levels love to build things it just depends on how like at what level do you feel fulfilled of creation? Some people need to have building like Legos to feel that it's fun to build something, and some people want to start with a completely empty, like a just a box of tools and start from scratch. It all depends on where where you want to be, and unless you can feel that sensation of fulfillment in code in programming, you're never going to like it. That that's the fundamental truth. You will never love working as a programmer unless you, you know, unless you can get to a point where you love to build things to create something useful. So that's what I would do if I wanted to rediscover my love for programming. I would start thinking about what are some things that I thought would think would be pretty cool to make, and just sit and play with it. It's like I mean, like the Lego blocks or like a Sim City game or like anything. Like it's you don't have to have some greater purpose where you like make money from it or something like that just have fun with it because when you are a programmer it is it's literally the same thing as being a a carpenter or someone who knows how to sew or an artist or something create for and be happy that you're creating something if the process of creation whatever it is that you're creating makes you happy then this is the thing for you otherwise you're never going to like it it doesn't matter how much you twist and turn it, if the process of creation is not fulfilling to you, programming is definitely something that uh, it's not gonna. You're not gonna change your mind, most likely. So, what I want you to take away from this is that if you hate programming, I would very seriously question why you want to be a programmer in the first place. Because I mean, although there are perks to it, it's not like everything is awesome all the time as a software developer. So unless um, you, like, yeah, I, I would start there. Ask yourself, is there something else going on in your life or some other profession you feel could be more, at least not, at least something that you don't hate, that would be good. And if that's not the case and you already have invested in this programming thing and it's the only really, really feasible option for you to make a living, so, because sometimes I'm very sorry to say we don't get to pick our jobs because sometimes we do have to do something we don't like just to survive well then I would focus all my attention on trying to figure out how I can make the process of creation something fun because as I said some people really only want to shoot people and like uh, just do it over and over and over and some or race cars or like play hockey or something like that and some people want to create something see something grow see something like uh, build things that's the sort of person that you need to be in order to enjoy programming. You need to f find it stimulating to create and solve problems. And it doesn't really matter how you do that. Pick anything. If it's about, I mean, if you want to work on Arduinos or you want to create computer games, you want to create websites, it doesn't matter. Just pick something that seems fun to make. Just like an artist just picking an arbitrary thing to draw just because right now, right here, I feel like, yeah, this would be a fun drawing to make. Doesn't have to be more advanced than that. Have a great day.